Today we're going to talk about how to store tubers for the winter. I dug these dahlias up a couple days ago and brought them inside so they wouldn't freeze out here. Um, but now I brought them back outside to demonstrate for you how I'm going to prepare them to last the winter. So I could just throw them in a box like this, but I like to clean them up a little bit. I'm going to just snip off the extra roots that don't need to be there. But I'm not going to separate the individual pieces of the bulb. If I'm going to divide this dahlia at all, it will be once it's um, sprouted in the spring. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. I've left a little bit of stem on it, doesn't need that much. Essentially, I'm just trying to clean it up so there's less um, bits that could uh, decompose over the winter. So I'll do that with a couple of them, and then I'll get them um, into the box. One thing you can do is to write the color of the dahlia right on the tuber. Um, these ones I wrote, they're pink, the rest of them are all red. Um, I only have a couple varieties. So you can do that with a Sharpie. I often also just take a piece of uh, paper and attach it with the name um, into the box. There are a few different mediums you can use to store your tubers in over the winter. Personally, I like pet bedding. It's cheap, it's easy to get, it's lightweight. I've got a good cardboard box. I think this is going to work for the number of uh, daily tubers I've got. Um, any kind of clean cardboard box will do. And I'm going to open up. It's a good thing to do this outside because it goes everywhere. I'm just going to put a little bit in the box. Side. They're just wood chips. They smell nicely like wood chips too. Okay, so I've got a bunch of uh, the wood chips in the bottom and then I'm just going to set my dahlia tubers in. I'm going to try and space them so that they're not um, sitting one on top of the other. Um, I won't keep ones like this. This is just a single one. Um, I have so many others of the same variety. This one is likely to wither. Uh, it's hard to know, uh, just being one little nodule, whether it's gonna have any growth come out or not, because the growth comes from here, um, not from down here. This is where the energy is stored down here. So I'll probably just compost this one. Okay, and now I'm going to add just a bit more of the bedding material. bedding material there I can set more tubers in on top because they're not going to be directly on top of another tuber. There's um, insulation of the bedding material in between. And then I'll just empty. So I've got all my tubers in here. I've got all my wood chip packing or wood chip pet bedding material and so I'm just gonna put a lid on this and I'm going to take it to my neighbor's house because she has a cold storage area that she kindly lets me use. Um, if you don't have a cold storage area, you can just put it in the coldest spot in your house. You want somewhere that's not going to freeze, so above zero degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, um, but sort of closer to that cool, cool temperature so that they'll stay dormant, um, but that they won't turn to mush um, over the winter, and then I'll take them out in uh, probably March and get them going again.